Hey guys, I'll give you an update on this 372 build. I want to show you some things how to lay out your cylinder, how you figured how many thousandths are in one degree. And uh, I decided to take the base gasket out of this because I wanted to lower my uh, exhaust timing. As you can see, it's a 32 thou pop up. This was all done by hand. I said I was a machinist for uh, four years. I got a lot of time on the lay, the mill. Uh, I got some lapping time. You know how to lap parts together. Honing. Bench work. So I'm pretty good at this. Now I had to raise this combustion chamber about 25 thousandths. Now I didn't have a lathe. As you can see, looks pretty good in there. That black is where I, the marker was. I was checking stuff. See a chamfer up in there? I put that in there by hand to clearance the, the piston air. And what I used is this tool here. See this thermostat tool? All I did was sand. This was like a worn out three inch uh, diameter holder. I just sanded this down some. So there's clearance in there. And I used this tape, I used this tape put up against the cylinder wall. So when I sanded this, it just rubbed the tape, didn't hurt the cylinder. Now when I got close, when I got close, right here is piston. Put this piston down in there, spun it, and I got this uh, super glue super glued with sandpaper on there, just sand it in there and I used this drill. It fits right down in that wrist pin slot and you just run the drill, spin it. A lot of work here. <laughs> I'm going to show you a few things here but I want to show you a little project I've been working on. It's actually my dad's car. 71 Challenger this thing was pretty much going to the junkyard here. It really was. My dad did some trade and got it. So what I did here, we're slowly working on putting a quarter on this thing. Pretty rough. We just cut that off just, just for now. Somebody had put one on here. They jigged it up, messed it up, and put a full quarter on it, which we're going to do. But I welded this tub in there. Wasn't too too easy, but I did it. I'll this piece in. Some of my welds. We'll grind these down. Grind them down. You'll never know it was there. I think it was pretty rough. Uh, These are rare because there ain't many, there wasn't many produced, plus a lot of these rotted away. But here's the motor, 383, got 440 heads. I painted the engine. It's alright. Valve covers. It's going to be plumb crazy. We had it running. Runs pretty good. So, yep. There's that. Yeah, hopefully we get it done. It's like forever project, but pull this cylinder on here. It says doing this by hand isn't the optimum way to do it, but the cylinder was actually kind of junk when I got it. I could literally flake some of the plating off by hand, and I was like, "Ugh, you son of a gun!" Very good little bit of cylinder work. Right up in the transfers, I could literally get my fingernail and I could flake some of the plating off. I'm like, oh man. I had to raise the transfers a good bit, probably about seven degrees. But it worked out 27 degrees blow down on this. Get in there. All right. All right, I'll center this wheel up. 
piston stop here. Comes in your kit, your uh, rain compressor kit. Okay, now I think this could be. I think it's centered. We've got 65. I already know where this center's up at. 65 degrees after top dead center. Now, not all of them are going to be that way. Maybe it needs touch just half a degree. Okay. So if you have to move it 10, you go 5. You just split it in half. Okay, or 65. Let's see? 65. All right, now. Well, let's take a look at this uh, intake timing. Here's it. About right there, we'll say. Okay. We have on a wheel about 80 degrees. On any saw, you really don't want to go, uh, especially a 70cc saw, you don't want to go over that. 